Hello everyone, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a realistic or photorealistic metallic material in your Unreal Engine level. First of all, thank you so much for being here. And secondly, this is going to be a super simple tutorial which uses a, an additional element that many beginner tutorials on material kind of avoid but in my view is pretty important to get that sense of realism and figure out exactly what you want to have from your metallic material so uh, first of all i'm here in my third person starter content level and i'm going to create a material that we're going to use and apply to uh, let's say a cube that I'm going to place in the scene. So first step of course is to right click and create a material. We're going to call it metal, not like metal music but like a metallic material and then we're going to create the same cube or place it in the scene that we can then test out the same material on. So let's enlarge it a bit and we can then simply drag and drop the same material to see how does it look like in the level so we have a pretty direct light it should be pretty clear once we create the same material now we have our metal material and let's edit it by double clicking on it it will open up its material editor and here we're going to change several of these basic base elements starting with the color but then going on two different nodes so first of all we need a constant tree vector that we're going to connect to the base color we should choose the same base color and pick one out that should be kind of a metallic note or should have a metallic note to it so i'm going to go with something akin to hmm, let's say no something bluish yes let's do something like this and maybe add uh, not a reddish note a green note hmm. let's see what it looks like once the same changes are applied yeah let's do something like this so it's going to be something in the blue specter and with that we can have our base color of course don't forget Unreal Engine needs a bit of time to kind of present it in real time so don't worry about it it's it's working on it uh, we're going to use two additional nodes and these are going to be metallic and roughness now metallic is clearly the necessary one because you want to have that metallic feel to it but I'm going to use roughness as well because in my view it gives it that photorealism because there are different kinds of metallic materials and they look differently basically on their level of roughness. For that we're going to use two constant nodes so simply search for constant and we can copy it by simply copying and pasting it. Both nodes go from value to 0 to 1, so let's go for metallic. In theory, 0 will be non-metallic, 1 will be super metallic, so let's go for 0 0.8, for example. And for roughness, we're going to connect another node to roughness. Again, 0 would be super smooth, 1 would be super rough, or over 1 but we're going to go for something like 0 0.5 and we can save and check out the same material in the level let's dock it again it's taking a bit of time because it's saving and updating the preview that you see in the upper left corner we're going to wait for that to happen and yeah let's move it here and let's see how it looks like in the game here it is and let's see it right here as you can see there is that glow you have that reflection 
on the same space but let's change it up and see how does the roughness figure it all out or how does the roughness play inside of it more precisely so if for example we go for roughness that is 0 0.1 so it's barely any roughness to it and we boost the value to 0 0.1 nine these are small changes but still they should present a different kind of a feel to the same material we can get that feel that you're looking for as you can see <laughs> it's it's a lot more metallic we have something uh, similar to a uh, glass surface there will be reflection of the character as well so the change provided a lot more reflectiveness to it so we're going to decrease the reflectiveness or increase the level of roughness to let's say 0 0.3 again we're going to save and through that process of basically manipulating roughness and the, le the metallic level, let's call it that, you can get something, here we have something that is really similar to, for example, an aluminum. So once we play, we get that there is a bit of reflection there, but it's not that high. And the material looks different. We can see it from up above. And you got that, you saw that shine so it's still a metallic, clearly metallic material, but the roughness, the level of roughness dictates the level of reflectiveness, let's call it that, and gives it that, of course, close to photorealism or something that you're looking to have in your game. So don't forget, metallic means that you have the metallic surface, but also the level of roughness, which means the level of refraction and how much light does it reflect back and that's all playing part in the process of you creating either let's say a chrome metallic surface like a handrail or something like that that is basically fully reflective or you want to have something that's more akin to like a dirty used uh, and worn out aluminum piece that will have a lot less uh, reflection to it but still have that metallic feel as well so that's all for this Unreal Engine tutorial. It's really simple, it's really basic. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully it can help you in creating your unrealistic materials made of metal, not metal music again, but metal as in <laughs> an element. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica. Please, if you'd like to subscribe, do that now. If you'd like to support me, there is a bunch of ways how you can do that. The easiest, of course, is to subscribe and stick around for new Unreal Engine beginner tutorials like this one. Thanks again and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Until next time, bye-bye.